on june 29th rise of kingdoms officially revealed the first trailer for the new greek civilization coming to the game and oh my god is it incredible and this still image this shot right here goes so hard bro it's insane however i was away when the trailer dropped so i wasn't able to cover it until today and we're gonna go over everything including a small mistake that the official vietnamese rise of kingdoms youtube channel made that gives us a really big clue as to who the legendary commander is going to be for this civilization so make sure you stay tuned to find out more what's going on guys cheers okay i'm just going to assume that you've already watched this 30 second trailer and if you haven't the link will be in the description below but there are a ton of clues in this trailer as to what we might be able to expect from the new civilization greece coming into the game now first of all this trailer focuses heavily on obviously leonidas which is already a commander that is in rise of kingdoms and has been for a very long time and at first i found that very odd but once we understand the plot of this trailer it makes a lot of sense and what threw me off is that when i first saw this trailer i thought that they were focusing the civilization around leonidas which was confusing to me because we already had him in the game and we already know that there are two new commanders coming with this civilization and that is excluding leonidas right so at first i was confused as to why they did that but as we break down this trailer you'll understand more about that and honestly leonidas from a design perspective like as a commander uh he just looks super cool like i've always thought this in rise of kingdoms it's such a shame that leonidas is such a bad commander because his design is incredible and as a historical figure he is insane one of the most badass historical commanders in all of human history and that's definitely the vibe that they give off from this trailer now let's break down a couple of details that you might have missed from this trailer that gave us a ton of clues first of all in this portion of the cinematic here they say that all of greece will fall and as we go through you can see that the greeks are fighting the persians okay so that part is obvious but that gives us a clue as to what time period that this battle is taking place in obviously leonidas is alive we're fighting the Persian invasion and this is happening possibly right before the fall of the Greek Empire we also get a few glimpses of what I assume to be the legendary commander that is going to be released with this new civilization you can see him right here standing behind or beside Leonidas we also get another glimpse of him later which we're going to go into much more detail because I don't think anybody's covered this which is shocking because it's been a couple days since this has been out but one thing I want you to notice is the design of the troops here we can see this looks like some sort of phalanx formation but look at the helmets here okay if you look at the helmets of these troops uh, these do not look like Spartan helmets this is completely different than what we see in other moments of this trailer even here we see a closer look of the Persian troops and guys I'm just gonna come out and say it I think next year like in 2024 summer of 2024 I suspect we're going to be getting the the Persian civilization that's my thought uh they put a lot of work into the cinematic and these the design of these of these units um it's always been speculated that Persia is going to have uh its own civilization in the game we've never seen it before this I think is uh is another hint in that direction and I think it would be super cool anyway in this screenshot you can see a familiar face this is Artemisia who is already a commander in the game and she played a crucial role in what was the fall of the Greek Empire so from there we can understand what battle this might be and the reason that I say might be is because I think that this this cinematic is more of a inspired by historical events rather than actual historical event right uh because as far as I know and I'm not a historian I don't I'm not super familiar with ancient Greece but as far as I know I don't believe Artemisia the first ever went up against uh Leonidas okay I don't think that they ever traded swords in the real world I don't think they ever actually met in battle like this uh Artemisia is known for the battle of artemisium or artemisium i don't know if i pronounced that properly but these were naval engagements that happened over three days during the second persian invasion of greece okay so again this fits the timeline really well as to the cinematic but these are naval battles and what we're looking at in the trailer here is it more so resembles 
um the battle of thermopylae okay uh, again i don't know if i pronounced that properly but the battle of thermopylae occurred simultaneously with the battle of artemisium so these two battles were occurring at the same time during the second persian invasion of greece so i think that this cinematic is sort of a a inspired combination of those two it really more so depicts the battle of thermopylae but they incorporated artemisia because she was around at the time period and she's already in rise of kingdoms that's my assumption okay here as we can see on this freeze frame another little glimpse at our new legendary commander i assume they're going to be legendary and what i think is so fascinating about this cinematic is just how well they sort of still obfuscate this legendary like they included him in the cinematic but we don't really get a good glimpse of him until you take a look at the screenshot that I'm going to show you in just a moment. Okay. But one thing you can see is pretty clear. Okay. He looks like he has some sort of elephant on his shield. I, I really don't know what this is. It's too hard to tell. It looks like the head of an elephant. And as far as I know, I don't think that there is any, uh, historically known Greek warrior that is famous for having that on his shield. I could be completely wrong but once again we see the design of the helmets here is quite interesting now if we jump forward about four seconds we'll see that the design of the helmets changes during the up close combat here okay now here we see uh the infamous this is sparta kick uh it's not exactly the same as you would expect in the movie where he kicks him into the well this looks like it's part of the actual battle but it's pretty clear what they were going for uh with this sort of iconic cinematic moment but you can see down here with this uh soldier that is downed this is clearly the uh spartan style of helmet and armor and you can see that on the new logo here as well as again in the up close cinematics so it's interesting that we see two different styles of troops here in this battle we see those with the traditional spartan helmet and then we see these which look more so like perhaps mycenaean helmets or maybe they're meant to resemble like athenian helmets or something like that again i'm not a historian uh but it is clear to me that you know with my two eyeballs i can confirm that there are two different types of troops being shown uh in this battle okay so one other thing that we can learn here is the style of the helmet of the legendary and here's where I'm going with all of this okay as I mentioned earlier in the video the Vietnamese official channel uh accidentally posted this video very briefly with the wrong thumbnail they had a completely different thumbnail for the video and if you weren't paying attention this is the actual thumbnail that is on the official trailer now okay uh and we can see pretty clearly this this commander right here and I'm gonna get into who I actually think this is um we'll talk about it in a moment because in my original video where I speculated on these commanders I think I was wrong so if you think that this is Pericles I actually don't think so so stay tuned to find out more about that uh, but in the background you can see this hero right here and we can learn a couple of things uh from this commander that there is a sort of horn on the helmet here um but you can't really see who it is okay and once again I think they did a really good job at sort of hiding the identity of this legendary commander because I think a lot of people want to know who this legendary commander is and the fact that they literally showed him and that we still don't know who it is is amazing I love that but the Vietnamese YouTube channel messed up they messed up and they accidentally included a different thumbnail when the video first went public and luckily somebody actually shared this on Facebook which led me to digging through the embeds of this thumbnail on discord and I was able to rip the image from a discord embed and enhance the quality of that image so this is the original thumbnail which honestly looks amazing in the text here it just says Greek civilization is coming soon but you can obviously see off to the right this is our legendary commander we get a much better view of him in this picture than we have throughout the rest of the cinematic and the official thumbnail that they used we see he has sort of the uh the, the purple hair on the top of his helmet here it is a golden horn uh and honestly we still don't get a great look at him but it's the closest that we can get um we also see alexander the great in this thumbnail which leads me to believe and it lends to my theory that the actual battle being depicted in the cinematic 
uh is more of an inspired representation rather than actual historical events because obviously alexander the great was not present during the battle with uh leonidas because they you know they were hundreds of years apart in history these two men could not have stood side by side in real life okay so there you go the fact that leonidas is fighting in Armenia, uh just lends to my theory that this is not supposed to be a historical battle which makes it really hard to figure out who this uh legendary commander is right because you know if this was historically accurate then we could sort of narrow things down but alexander the great is here <laughs> um we also see the the first original style of the helmets on the um on the troops which is interesting again just multiple styles of of helmets multiple styles of troops being shown in the video now with all that being said who is this man okay whose man's is this <laughs> uh one thing that i think is pretty clear is that i could not find a significant historical commander that fought alongside leonidas in the battle of thermopylae which is what i think this uh cinematic is trying to portray okay one thing that i will say is that if we have leonidas and alexander the great in the same image uh and they were alive hundreds of years apart i think it is pretty clear that this commander also could have existed hundreds of years apart from Leonidas as well and that led me to looking up different styles of helmets from the ancient Greek era uh the Mycenaean horned helmet does exist this is a thing and really if we take a look at Achilles from the Trojan War I think this is a pretty uh clear-cut example of what we see in the cinematic okay I want you to look exactly at that helmet okay look at that helmet boys uh that is the same helmet from the cinematic it is pretty clear so I think okay I think the cinematic includes Leonidas and the Spartans I think it also includes Achilles and the Mycenaean soldiers that is what I think we see in the cinematic uh that's what I think represents the different style of helmets and I think that it is just most obviously like of all the different historical ancient uh significant commanders in ancient Greece I think Achilles would fit the bill also obviously uh, Achilles was again not at the Battle of Thermopylae he was a much older commander who was around for the Trojan horse era but Achilles is also very like mystical right he's more so seen as like a mythological figure um I do think if I remember correctly from my reading this morning I do think that there is proof he existed like actually but he's more so in the realm of mythology I'm pretty sure he's said to be like sort of a descendant from like Zeus or something like that so you know clearly the ancient Greeks were very uh embedded in their in their polytheistic beliefs so I think um the presence of Achilles in this battle alongside Leonidas is more of a symbolic one right it's more symbolizing the ancient Greek history being present within the battle alongside Leonidas that is my analysis of the cinematic and of this thumbnail that was posted again officially by the rise of kingdoms Vietnamese YouTube channel and I think that this gives us just a pretty clear-cut idea as to who this legendary actually is now one last thing about Achilles and the Mycenaean helmets okay uh obviously this isn't exactly like the troop helmets from the cinematic uh it more so is closer to the actual Achilles helmet on the commander but the Mycenaean soldiers were known for being heavy infantry they were known for being heavy infantry units and if we look at the units in this uh cinematic there's not a single crossbow in sight there's not a single cavalry unit in sight there's not a single siege unit in sight I think we're going to be getting infantry special units for the Greek civilization that's what I think it makes the most sense historically it matches up the best with the actual cinematic uh and I think that for the longest time infantry have gotten sort of the short end of the stick uh when it comes to commanders when it comes to city skins I think that uh for a long time the developers have sort of turned their back on the infantry mains and I would love if the rest of 2023 was year of the infantry player I think that would be incredible I would love that and if we had a super 
new strong and exciting infantry civilization in the form of ancient Greece I think that would be super cool and it just makes the most sense for Greece right right I mean come on the Spartans come on they're like the coolest infantry in history with that out of the way who's this okay who is this because Pericles I think was the original uh guess for most people including myself because he just looks so close to uh the Pericles from Civ I mean come on you, you've got you've got him standing here with his scroll and his bag and then you look at this here and we see sort of the same helmet the same scroll I mean it's just it's just so close right it's so close um same helmet right however I actually don't think that this is a uh, Pericles I don't think it is the ancient historic commander that I think it is is Themistocles I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly but this was an Athenian politician and general he fought during the first Persian invasion of Greece and in the years after the marathon and in the run-up to the second Persian invasion Themistocles became the most prominent politician in Athens during the second invasion he effectively commanded the Greek allied navies at the Battle of Artemisium and Salamis in 480 BC again I may be pronouncing a lot of these things wrong I do apologize but the Battle of Artemisium is what we talked about before as the battle that Artemisia was present at and we see Artemisia present in the actual cinematic so I think all of this comes together where's where's our girl I think all of this comes together very beautifully uh with this cinematic sort of being an amalgamation of different parts of the ancient Greece history all put together in one cinematic that makes sense for the rise of kingdoms universe with Artemisia versus uh Leonidas we have of course Achilles here and I think we have Themistocles as the epic commander in rise of kingdoms because of I mean one his design here uh and two like if you know we have Leonidas in the game already it makes sense we would have another commander from the same time period and the same war that is shown in the official cinematic and that's it that is my analysis and breakdown of the first official cinematic that we got for the new Greek civilization coming to rise of kingdoms I'm super stoked you guys seem pretty excited as well because I posted this let's go comment like right as the video went live like I woke up and saw that it was posted like 15 minutes ago uh and we got 191 of you guys liking the comment and the official rise of kingdoms channel actually dropped a heart on there which I love uh but this cinematic was so good ancient Greece is so cool and I'm very excited to see what the actual stats are going to be for this civilization anyway guys I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section below is there anything that I missed from this cinematic or any of the information surrounding it I would love to hear from you guys down there while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace